back. We're talking, obviously, with Mitch Morrissey, who is the Denver DA, also Greg LaBerge, who is the director of the, of the current and new Denver Crime Lab. Um, let's talk a little bit about Abu Dhabi. You, you two took a trip. How does that, where is it, and, and, and why did you go there, and what did you accomplish? Well, we, went, we were invited there by a scientist who had come to the Denver Police Crime Lab and realized that the things we were doing between my office, in the court system, filing cases, all of those kinds of things were something that the colonel that runs the crime lab in Abu Dhabi would be interested in getting out throughout the entire United Arab Emirates. Okay. So it's in the Middle East. We got invited to go there. Um, I Who think went? We, uh, Greg went. Okay. I went, and uh, Mool Verma went. And Greg and Mool primarily trained young scientists that work in the lab there in Abu Dhabi. And it's a very, very nice lab, but Abu Dhabi is a place where money doesn't really matter a lot because there's a lot of it. Yeah. And they are building a brand new crime lab there as well. They were about to break ground on it, I think, about the same time we were. But they had a, they had a facility about the same age as ours, a little bit older, mm -hmm. a little bit bigger. Um, but the same kind of thing. Primarily, they wanted me to talk to judges, prosecutors, and crime scene people from all over the country, not just Abu Dhabi. Okay. And so I was down in a lecture hall, auditorium set, uh, setting <coughs> with the colonel that runs the crime lab, and different people would introduce me. And it was interesting because they didn't speak English. Most of them did, but mm -hmm. the technical things we were talking about... I had to wear a microphone and headphones so I could hear when they asked me a question, sure. somebody would interpret the question, then I would answer it, then the interpreter would talk to them. That person was up somewhere in the back. And we did five days of lectures there wow. or training. And it was a great experience for us and it was a great ability to get out and talk about the cutting edge things that we're doing in Denver. And that's part of why we're recognized internationally for the work that we do. Greg, what, did, what types of, did you, you did lecturing? Yes. Uh, what was your audience? Who were your audience? They were mainly what? DNA scientists. Oh, the, okay. And the Abu Dhabi lab was mm -hmm. uh, the Abu Dhabi city, but it, it's mainly a federal laboratory. It's still a federal government laboratory. Okay. And so I trained them on uh, statistics and genetics issues as they relate to forensic science. And Mool Verma, who works for us in the crime lab, is a hair and fiber expert. So he was training them on basic hair analysis. So he was training their trace evidence scientists. What did you, you gave a lot. What did you get back? We got the chance to go there. Okay. And, and it's a place to see because in the 1960s, it basically didn't exist. It was yeah. a place where people went out on ships and looked for <laughs> pearls out on boats. And then when the season was over, they'd go back into the desert. Uh, we got to meet uh, the one scientist was a Bedouin. He took us out into the countryside. Really? We were able to see Iron Age tombs that they have there. Okay. Uh, it, was a, it was a very Whole interesting new concept trip of history. for us. But the other thing that was interesting for us to see was their lifestyle and how they, how they work. But Greg and Mull got to sit down with really the first generation of scientists for this entire country, that must have been this different. entire region. They yeah. were young, they were enthusiastic. Sure. Two of these young men took us out to a, a traditional lunch in, um, up in Dubai. We went up there one day, mm -hmm. and uh, here are the two future leaders of this country as far as forensics go. They're 25-year-old, 27-year-old exactly. men. Right. They are going to run the national DNA database for the entire country, and they intend to put everybody that lives in Abu Dhabi in this DNA database. Really? You so, will be in it? It was a great experience for us, but it was really, I think, probably a better experience for them. I'm to sure. To it seems like you gave a lot. Well, we absolutely. did. And it was a great, great time. One of the things that uh, we heard there was uh, that previous, previous attempts at teaching, they were very, they were difficult and very expensive. And what we, we basically promised to do was, we'll give you all we have and we'll give you as best as we can give you. Sure. And I think for us, it was a great cultural experience to see the Middle East and to see the Arab nation in, 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 from the inside, from what we do. And I think it was a great experience for us. The other thing it did is it gave us an ongoing uh, collaboration with them. So we agreed to collaborate with them going into the future as they develop their programs and we develop ours and we're going to start working
looking in the future to try to have exchange of scientists back mm -hmm. and forth. Mm -hmm. Greg, thank you very much. Thanks, Harry. Mitch, thank you very much, as usual. Hey, thank you, Harry. It has been a, it's been a pleasure. Always. Uh, yep. And please be with us again next month when once again we have another dialogue with the Denver DA. Denver 8 TV, your city, your source.